Sorry about that. A little failure in a recording. Uh, well, editing, I should say. So, I literally just freaking beat this dude. He only had a wormhole and a Silco. I don't know if you guys didn't miss anything. But the TM he did give me was Torment, which is a fairly decent move, I suppose. But, um, so now we're gonna head over to the mayor's house. Not just yet, though. There's an item right there, and we're gonna pick it up. Uh, three super potions. Not too bad. Now we're gonna go to the mayor's place. Get out of my way. Alright. And... Whoa! Transvestite here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse my... I don't know, my... Ignorance. <laughs> um, I'm so dumb. Alright, let's move on, shall we? Alright, buddy. I really want to make a joke about... I'm not. Never mind. No, you wanted to see me. So, our little female protagonist is going to tell a tell her tale to the president, although she should be telling it to a psychiatrist, but how, what do I know? I don't know the logic in, uh, in this game. I don't know the logic that uh, these video game makers had, but I don't know. Get used to this, guys. This is what you're gonna, you know, get. So he says he's gonna do, uh, start an investigation, although he never does. So, he's automatically an asshole for uh, lying right to our face. Thanks. So, he, uh, he does uh, say something fairly interesting. Visit the Fenix Stadium, which we're going to do, or Coliseum, whatever. Hello, Jigglypuff. Okay. Sign me up. And they already started. Damn it. We will come back here later on, though. Well, maybe for training purposes, and I'll probably do it off screen, so sorry. And we see some new people. Hey, Asha Star! Now give us back the snag machine. Oh, that's what it's called. So, our female hero, I guess, or protagonist, I should say. Finds out that, oh, gasp, we're from Team Snagma, and I'm apparently a snagger, and I can catch Pokemon without fail. Really? So I'm going to say no, and I grin my teeth. Seriously, what is up with these optional whatever? That's a little shocking. Hey, Asha Star. I know it doesn't say Star. I didn't have enough room. Uh, give us back the snag machine that you stole from uh, the hideout. You really have something like that? Well, it's on my left arm, so yeah. Well, she didn't know. I don't know. Ordinary Pokeballs turn into snag balls. Well, from what I've seen, they still look like ordinary balls. I don't know. Crepes? Alright, we're gonna take it by force. And these dudes are jokes. Obviously. It comes as pathetic or official coffee. I'm gonna kick a generation one and three Pokemon's asses. What? My generation two Pokemon will kick your generation one and three's asses. So I blast coffee with confusion, which is a one and kill, which is pretty awesome, I must say. And there he goes. Bloody dead apple. Umbreon will never ever kill something in one hit, unlike his brother, I guess, Espeon. And he vicered me, you bastard. So, unless you get a critical hit, or some type of hacks. We will not finish this battle in one turn. 
Well, that was pathetic. So I defeated this guy. And now he's going to leave me alone. No! I'm not good enough! And I got $270. That's a lot of money. No, it's not. Blast you, Luscious Star! See ya. Weaklings. Anyways. Well, what do you know? You're from Team Snagma. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Although you steal Pokemon for a living, you're still my prince who saved me from those goons back in the last episode. So let's go buy some Pokeballs and actually steal some Pokemon. Wow, this chick's a bitch. I like it. I'm kidding. So anyways, so we're going to go to the shop here. And why am I going to the PC? I don't know. So we're going to go to the shop here, and we're going to, uh, well, come to find out, they don't have any Pokeballs here. Shocker. <gasps> I mean, can you really blame them? There's no Pokemon here in the Oran region. Which is insanely stupid. So you talk to this woman. Uh, she states that, oh, there's some Pokeballs at the outskirts stand, so why don't you try that? So, okay, move out of my way. Thank you. So we're going to go there. The outskirts stand is where we were uh, in the first episode, if you guys saw the first episode. Uh, whatever. Whatever that so, okay. Let's go. So... Okay, shouldn't that, like, motor, that front of that vehicle, burn that dude's face off? I mean, he's really close to her. That thing must be boiling with heat. I don't know. Is it just me, or what? Alright, so we're gonna talk to the... Uh, uh, employee right here. Hi, can I ask you something? Do you sell any Pokeballs? Huh, Pokeballs, you say? Well, they're a little dusty, but they're usable. I don't know why you want to use them, since there's a Pokemon here. But here you go. Huh. Well, I mean, let's buy some. You buy ten Pokeballs. Every time you buy ten Pokeballs, you get a Premier Ball. Which, apparently... Uh, helps you catching, helps you catch, catch rare Pokemon. I don't know what distinguishes rare Pokemon from ordinary Pokemon. I don't know. So I also buy five Great Balls because you know, Great Balls are pretty cool. They're superior to Pokeballs. So, so let's go to back to Fennec City, shall we? Again, that thing should burn the dude's face off. Why is that girl holding her ear? Oh, it must be really loud. Oh, it's you two! Something terrible has happened! Eh, eh, eh. Those two creeps and several other guys came back. And they went to the mayor's office! Don't ask me why! So, we're gonna go to the mayor's office, because... Well, it's kinda strange. Two people who nearly kidnapped this... Well, they did kidnap the girl. And... What the fuck? Master Mayor B, it's him! And woo woo! Wow! Michael Jackson returned from the grave! Anyways... So, he's just gonna ramble on pointless shit. If you don't wanna- if you don't like pay, pay, keep your nose out of our business. Boys! Oh, boys! That was very dramatic. Am I making myself clear? Let the music roar! Or let it play. Am I really jazzing to this dancing on this one? I'm not dancing. I'm on a chair. Better not steal my shit out of your mom. You, you, you! I really need to stop rushing through the text. So he brings out another whisper and a new Pokemon, which is a Lapad! Lapad, oh! Anyway, so boring. <laughs> they probably will. Alright. So, we're going to use my Umbreon and Espeon to kick his ass once again. No challenge at all. Another one at Ko. One at KO. Ko, KO, something. Oh, 
at least they got two different parts, which is nice, I suppose. Astonish! I think. Was that, was that the name of the one? I missed it. I haven't played this game in so long. So once again, in two turns, I kicked his ass. If you're lucky, you'll beat this guy in one turn, which is really good. Also, so he's down. Ah, uh, blast it! I got tripped up again. I got over five hundred dollars, or I should say, over five hundred ninety-nine U.S. dollars, and that's the end of the episode. That was. I was very unprepared.